So we're going to simplify this expression here. And what we need to do is add fractions with common denominator. There is no common denominator up here. So we're going to have to uh, multiply each one by the other's denominator. So we'll start by rewriting it. All right, we need to multiply this first fraction by a over a, and the second fraction by a plus h over a plus h. And all this divided by h, alternatively, instead of dividing by h, I can multiply by the reciprocal, which is one over h. And this is nice because it gets us out of a multi-story fraction. Let's go ahead and do these multiplications. So two times a is two a divided by the denominator is a plus h times a minus, I'm gonna leave this two out or the negative out, I should say. Uh, so it'll be two, distributing the two across, two a plus two h divided by a plus h times a. Now we are gonna, we have common denominators, so ready to combine this into one fraction. We're subtracting this whole quantity, which means we're subtracting two a and we're subtracting two h. So it's minus 2a minus 2h. You no longer have to wrap this in parentheses because the order of operations, this fraction line right here, means that this fraction is grouped and that fraction is grouped by default, but you absolutely can leave those parentheses in. What to do next? Now on all these difference quotients, it's our goal to get rid of this h down here. We're not ready to get rid of it yet. We can get rid of something Remember, I can't cancel this a and this a because the a's in the numerator are being subtracted or added. Only you can cancel when it's a product. But 2a minus 2a is 0a. Those cancel. We're just left with negative 2h. If there was still an a hanging around here, you could cancel with the denominator a, but there is no longer that a hanging around. All right, what to do here? Well, I could multiply the one, the numerate, two numerators together. One times negative two h is just negative two h. Denominator is h times a plus h times a. At this point, and of course these are multiplied here, multiplied, multiplied. I'm just drawing the dot so it's super obvious what we're multiplying. Now I have an h and an divided by h. We're multiplying and dividing by h. These two h's cancel out now because they're both multiplied. Negative 2 over a plus h times a. This question, uh, this is the answer to the question. The way to input it, there's two boxes on this question. I'll scroll up and you'll see that. The question, the answer to this question is in the form of two boxes with a line in between. Here's what goes in the upper box, here's what goes in the lower box, and I'll just scroll up to that. It's a little bit weird, maybe not obvious, but this is the fraction line, and so this is the numerator, and this is the denominator. There we go. So we get the negative two on top, and the a plus h times a on the bottom.